Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I did a little, I did a lot of playing in between episodes. <laughs> One little thing I tried though, you were running out of iron. Yep, yep, we ought to, probably should build a trading post. Thanks game. Um, I want to keep a little bit of grass along the side of the fences through here for this main road going in. And I, so I threw a little stub of a fence out just to see if that will force their, their pathway out a little threw a little bit out over there too. I think it's working, but we haven't, the only traffic we've really had down there is to fill this guy up. So don't really have enough pathing going on to really test it yet, but I think it's working. Yeah, they're kicking out a little bit. So I wanted to finish this area here with orchards. Yes, the slopes are the best place to put things like fields and orchards. It's kind of hard to place buildings, but you can put an orchard pretty or, or well, at least a field pretty much anywhere. An orchard does have a building in it, but it's a small building. Anyway, let's start there. Orchards, and then I'll show you all the other things that I did. Um, let's go back and read them. Orchards. All right, start growing trees, hire workers. You guys can read along. At least two years to bear fruit reaches maximum by five years if you want to change the type of trees so we apparently have a variety of trees and if i recall we have apricot apple and cherry down in here so i'm gonna guess those are the three trees in the orchards too so let's do something like maybe three smaller orchards so we can get the variety in there rather than just one kind really big <laughs> um, let's line us up like so and where I realign the bridge a bit kick it off to a side so we can have a, a space right in there and then a road and then a space I think I'm somewhere about here as far as side to side up and down you got the front door to our salt works over here so you're probably down more like in here and these should set like the houses do with an f1 yeah and then we can reposition this where we want i bring you up into here and i think that looks pretty good straight wise like so you're up somewhere in there up in here these buildings kick off at an angle you could do something a little more like this to kind of start this yeah I like that so in that case you'll come down a little further yeah something like that we've got lots more slopes lots more map we can have orchards in many many places so we don't have to make our main fruit tree production just over here we can let's see you know i'm going to have you right at the entrance we can tree all around you now is that enough to even make it worth the effort i want to get three of them in here maybe that's the mistake maybe i should stick with two here and another one somewhere else where else do we have slopes we're gonna have to deal with we have slopes in the woods which we will be taking down somewhat. And we're pretty flat up in here. Yeah, so really it's just down in here to worry about. Trader is taking a big chunk of that. Eventually we're going to clear trees out through here and get this more of, a, of an established road in here. May have to fence off around to force the traffic to make it look like a road that works its way around the lake here, around the river here. But okay so something along those lines Let me zoom out a little bit more that looks pretty good there and a little more like so all right now do i need to do more than just that maybe after it's built i choose the tree that sounds right okay set you grab another one you're gonna bounce in like so yeah okay 
um, iron left 178 so it's counting me down so the idea is you don't want to run out of nails before you have enough to build your trader and we already have all the nails we need transported over there so that's not a concern but once the iron runs out if you don't have enough nails to create the trader you're out of luck you start the game over so oh entrance on the side yeah okay then oh, something I wondered about is it possible to rotate this thing let's see I can't rotate it afterward right rotate building rotate slower rotate building modify disable start it must be F that allows you to rotate while you're placing something yeah oh, can I just out of curiosity I know this is really doing it the hard way but apparently you can <laughs> you can force the uh, the entrance to the other side oh that was painful okay yeah <laughs> all right so you're there though I'm thinking you I'd almost like to slope angle to the slope of the uh, of the curve out here something like that um, keeping a gap between will make it that much easier for cart traffic to go sideways later. And it's possible that might be a thing someday. In fact, I realigned these two uh, stalls in front of the, the small um, granaries to make sure we can get carts in there. In case that's more of a thing later. So, yeah, kind of odd shapes, but I think that works. And I don't think I really need to do any more slope wise so maybe the other one goes over here okay so am I happy with that I think so um nope there's a miss all right let's spin you around where am I R yeah let's let's aim you just like the other one right at the entrance rather than kick you off to a side or something like that so you rotate I should have just hit the F 90 degree uh, rotations instead of spinning it okay call you done let's put one more in as far as when that's a question we know we want this one done immediately these two we're already into May we're not going to get a lot of fish out of this but at least we could be set up for next year we need these two houses in to have somebody to even stock the uh, workers into the into these guys so, but I do want boats made before the freeze. They won't build after that. But it'd be nice to get these guys planted this year, too. Let's do that. We'll play with that. We may have to move things around. Those are the buildings I want to put in this time anyway. So, not running the game fast because, you know, there's... Well, actually, maybe it's the opposite. I guess I do need to run it fast to get through some of these okay I was gonna say we yeah we don't have the people to stock the buildings anyway but yeah that's fine let's just get the bill okay so I want a third one and makes sense to do what we just did so you and let's see here f1 and then drop you into there continue the curve sure which means cycling more around like this okay which means this doesn't have to be as big like it can be more like this yeah we could do something more like that you're there too long something's too long okay so you're freaking out if I go beyond that okay so you're there um, I mean, realistically, we could have curved the top of these with the, the slope as well. That would have looked natural. But we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, it seems to be happy. Yeah, we'll, we'll make that work. Okay, you're in, so maybe, maybe... These can be planted this year. Two years before we get our first harvest out of them. So you kind of want those two years to begin as soon as you can. 
There's a road coming up in here and wide enough to have some greenery on one side, some greenery on the other. Maybe even a row of thin, tall trees like these guys, the cottonwoods. Unless we do want trees that kind of go over the top. I'm kind of thinking the birch might look good for something like that, too. Row here and a row here for the main road coming up. Yeah, that could be cool. Anyway, I have a hard time decorating things on camera. Too much, I don't know, got to get it right the first time. Don't spend too much time going um. So it's easier just to shut down recording and just do something like this. So I, and I had to stop because I needed these things to get planted and start growing to see what I've done. Because after a while you kind of forget. But I came in... Threw in some fencing. This guy's there, though now I kind of wish I'd probably taken it more of an angle like this. But that's that's what we've got now. Whoops. So, lilacs, dogwoods, benches here and there. And four stalls. Did I get all the right ones? I did. Look, yeah, they look right. And so, stalls from this side. Eventually, we'll have to see roadway forming in there and around here and then from this side somewhere in here oh there it is yeah I was gonna say I was thinking about it. I guess I did it put a gazebo in but I wasn't sure there is a tree right here wasn't sure where else I had put trees I didn't remember if I put one in there or not so maybe we'll continue flowers around like so we'll let this grow up a little bit and see what happens went down through the lane over here and added some some uh, some fluff some some decorations here and there and kind of made it look and feel a little more natural I think these were fruit trees yeah those are fruit trees so they're gonna take a couple years to grow and then cross this lane I don't know what happens here there's gonna be another building of some kind that happens there but I'm not sure what so this was a little harder to work on because we don't have all our fences in yet so i kind of passed on that this is where i stopped so the, the gable or the the archway that we had put in to enter an industrial area here decorated it up a little bit thought i would put somebody in with firewood out here and eventually probably clothes and pottery would be a good out here and they'll also be in this end. So maybe a particular food. We sure love to sell off some more potatoes. Maybe get rid of those while we can before they rot away. We'll be able to sell off potatoes too. But potatoes rot, flour rots. Heck, yeah, let's do that too. So as much of this as we can get into people's homes and get used better. Flour and eventually fish. Yeah, I'll hold off on that. We could very easily overwhelm this guy but I'm thinking I want to stick with my plan of the oil workshop in here I went through all the buildings and it's really the only building that has this built-in archway into it nothing else seems to have it except the trader and the idea was to go from arch to arch so that really does need to sit in here and I'll just build the rest of the industry around it and use this as an offset center island idea um control t zoom in a bit there there we go yeah call that fine and depth wise i don't want a tight aisle a road here i want to give a little bit of room so it's probably about there. Something like that. Where to place it, I really don't know. I'm pretty sure we need more housing before we get to a lot of these other buildings. So that's probably a next year thing. I'm placing them ahead of time. Are you out of iron yet? You are. So, slow it down and think. Fishing dock is done. So, I'm going to fire all you guys. How much iron do you have left? You've got some. We'll hire one of you back into there. Get back to our original 
plan of one blacksmith. This guy will just mothball for a while. Um, I could toss out everything, let them haul it all away, and use it in other places. And then fire it back up again if we need to later. Yeah, I like that. You have 30 parts in stock. Uh, I don't know of anybody else who uses the metal parts. Just the carpentry, right? So let's kick that up to 100. Any problem with that? Storage is 8,000. So for that matter, we can even kick, say, 4,000 wood into there. Yeah, we can do that. Um, we'll leave it there. Now, as far as who works there, nothing else changes. Okay, that's all good. So, that should give these parts somewhere to go. I don't have them stored anywhere. Alright, so what else is happening? We are in June. We're planted, planted, planted. And wow, we're not planted very well here. Yeah. We don't have a sense of a... Um, efficiency chart. Nutrients are about gone. That's probably what's going on there. Hmm. Okay. So, that's fine. Potatoes rot. We have plenty in stock already. What do we have? Sitting over there. No, only 13 sitting over there. Because we moved them into a few of the different stalls. As soon as these guys start to harvest, we'll be able to get a lot more product back into our... Into our... Uh, uh, granaries and then into these places. Right now we're kind of thin on what we have to offer. Now you firewood these guys and everything else I kept moving around. Yeah. So who do I have hired? You've got somebody you don't. That's firewood. You do. Let's go ahead and hire someone for here to get the firewood going at this end and the firewood going at that end. You did get hired? Yeah. Okay. So, and potato-wise, we are reserve 10. Okay, so we're a little less than 50% left rot-wise. Same over here. And in here, same. Okay, so all the same batch. All right. So, road going in. We've just built this guy. Let's call for three boats. Though we need to get this one built before we can do that. Which happens after this one's done. Which has all the resources now. So why isn't there a row of faces down here? You are not paused. Because we are all busy bringing things to the boatyard. Yeah, let's do that. We have all the nails in here. We don't have to worry about running out. Let's get boats building. Back for that matter. Let's do that. As long as we have the materials here and they don't start stealing it out of here to go do something else. Oh, we're still cutting trees. I just saw that right there. Okay, that's what's going on. So in that case, let's build that one first too. We got trees coming out. And... Yeah. Now, I had thought about putting in another of these guys, another forestry. Just to get, rather than hire four people out of here, than have them walk a long way to go and do things like this. Put another forestry in here, and they can handle this side, and these guys can handle this side, and they can all kind of share back behind. And it would give them two different places to go to to get lumber. So, for these jobs, it would be a lot less traveling. Maybe we kick that in as well. Hmm. Nails around town? Still 700 and some. We still have 100 iron. I don't know how many nails come out of a single iron. Let's do that. I mean, we're going to do it eventually. It would be advantageous to have it already in right now. So let's do that. We are in June. We're back to the original race of getting everything done before snow <laughs> and I think we can do this so you guys are there we might 
continue more trees and whatnot. Maybe even eventually another farm in here? I don't know what's going to happen over here. I really don't. I know that the smelter? Is it the smelter that has the stones that blocks the river? There's no point in having it on this side when all of our stone comes out over here. So that's probably actually going to happen. No, it can't. Because the boat traffic comes this way. So it looks like it happens here. Going across that way. Okay, so that's over here. So maybe the the higher, what I'll call higher end manufacturing. The glass works and soap works, ashery, that sort of thing. These guys can all be down in this area and into here. That might be this. And then a couple of bridges over and we've got all of this. We've got the limestone over there. Iron right here. Um, stone stone is way over there. So that pathway is going to have to work its way around most of the map. Um, there. There we go. So stone, iron, limestone. So we need to bridge there. We need to bridge... Hmm. I guess just right there. And maybe right in there. Bridge through there and then come around and then come across there. I think that works. Or we could do two bridges right here. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. It'd look good too. Alright, so did I go back to slow speed? I did. <laughs> okay, our pathway's starting to form here. Yeah. Maybe I'll kick that out a little bit further. What did I do there? That is fence number three, I think. Is that you? Yeah. Let's make you... Yeah, let's just kind of ruin your guys's, uh your day and make you cuss me out every time you come to that corner. <laughs> I want to kick the pathway out a little bit and leave some leave some grass along the sides. So let's take this out a little bit further as well. Right there. Snap you. Come out. At least that far. Okay. That works. Alright, so we are working on this guy. We're building it. Great. So you guys are going in. We've got six workers at the moment. Uh, we're about to go into... No, about to go into July. So we're not harvesting yet. You did fill up. And we've got at least one other guy that needs a job. We don't have any wheat this year. So we're not going to be running that one. What else is happening right now? We could lay this area out while we're, while we're doing it, right? Nope, boat yard's going. So we've got to keep up with those kind of things. So boat yard, I want two guys working there. That's where they're going to go. So you guys are going to go there. And I need to make sure that everybody can come and load this place up with at least wood. I don't know if it's metal parts in there too or not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, that's all correct. That's all correct. And there it sits. So we should see this fill up soon. When you fire somebody, they tend to go home and then they spend a whole work cycle at home doing other things so firing somebody and then rehiring somewhere else and then wondering why they didn't jump into that job is you know realistically they've they've started another another queue their own personal queue of who knows going off to the market and bringing a bunch of things back home and doing other things like that you can kind of click on a house and watch where people are are going and doing their stuff she just came to sit down there he's working at the forestry right yeah and in this house over here we've got kids that are probably off playing at other kids houses which i think is really cool that the game does that when they hit i'm gonna guess 15 16 17 years old they are teenagers and that's why in some of the businesses you've got things like hire children so that's older teenagers that can go in and be delivery and, and you know work in the fields and that kind of thing wow that is one pathetic potato field that really is 
I don't know what happened there other than that we're just at the end of the run for nutrients. Once we do get the cow shed, that's right, I want to think about placing that guy too. Need the trader to get the cattle, but it'd be nice to have the cow. In fact, I'm going to slow down. Where are we now? We're in July. Let's think about that. I had thought about it over here. And there is some space left. Cows are here. So you want cows. You want hay dryers. So space for hay dryers. Hay dryers would also work really well in on a slope. So that's something else to keep in mind. If you get trying to come up with things to do with your slopes. I mean over in here, this is quite the challenge to come up with productive buildings through these areas in here. So, hay dryers, uh, backyards, maybe a house up here and let the backyard go back down the slope. Uh, all of your farm fields should be up in here with your farm down below or up above. Uh, orchards would work great in those kind of spaces. So it's just a matter of using each space to the advantage that it was meant for to get the most out of a map. So you would work in an area like this, right? You know, natural to the slope, like so. There we go. But there's not a lot of room here. Don't know that I want that to be what you see when you come up our main road, too. So I'm not convinced that's where I want that. It could be here. If I rotate you around, put the doors aimed upward, I get that. Hmm. This would be easier when I get some of these buildings built. All right, let's work on cows next year. Let's not worry about that yet. I want to see more buildings before I start placing them. I have to see what it's going to look like long term. Okay. So, speed you up again, right? Let's make sure this actually got to work. Nobody went to work here. Okay. Let's kill off a couple of builders. Oops, I should have checked to see what they were doing at the moment. But just make sure that we... I don't think you need to be employed to make this work. I don't believe so. It's just this one. And it is one... Well, it is the furthest job away at the moment from housing. And I'm pretty sure that plays a factor in here. If they're going to choose where they want to work, I would imagine it will be the job closest to where they live. The closest job that's open at the moment. So it may be a little harder to get folks employed in some of these other buildings. But I've got three guys now without jobs. Uh, here? There we go. And these buttons now open up the tabs from the, the town hall over there. Um employed here we go open vacancies for guys are three and unemployment is 21 percent of 14. oh that hurts is that three <laughs> that makes my eyebrow go up <laughs> so i'm hoping they will come back to work or go to work at some point i could help it i could say yeah this is a lot further to to uh to go to work. Why don't you guys, you know, I'll give you a little walking bonus. There's 10% more. Orchard is done. I want to get you employed too. Can you be a lady? You can. Great. So you're going to run it, bring in one worker, and we'll see how finicky they are as far as wanting to work that far away from home. You guys still haven't come in here. Perform her preventative repairs that's hard to say yeah i will do that auto save so over here we've got tree type okay so we'll just go in order you will be apricot you will be what was the first one apple apple and then cherry out over here okay so one worker in there and apricots and nothing else to choose no, nope. there's no sense of hauling, so that button doesn't exist here. And still nobody wants to work down there. Okay, kick the speed back up. And it will happen when it happens. 
there are lots of other jobs going on. Their labor is being called for here. There will be... Okay, we are hauling out of places like the blacksmith that are needing charcoal filled up. Um, this guy will constantly be using laborers to... They're probably... I was debating whether to put charcoal in here at all. What I worried about is, is this loop. Charcoal's got to have laborers hauling to this, and then you got to have laborers hauling back out of here instead of just going from there to there. So I was... Do I really want to store charcoal? But it might be nice just to have that reserve in there, kind of a cushion. Once everything is full, it would trigger this to be restocked with firewood that much sooner and get one more round going that much sooner. So, yeah, I went ahead and left that. Um, one more peek down here before I get back to work. There we go. Okay. So everyone headed down there, and we employed over here. Perfect. And she... Wow. She's already gone to work. Look at all these that have been planted already. Great. So, once they're planted, let me know if you know the answer. Do I have to have anybody employed here for the first two years once they're planted? Is there a maintenance that happens? I'm sure there will probably be graphics of her going out and tending the trees, but is that necessary? Just like, do I need somebody employed in here in between sowing and harvest you do need someone employed there to thresh wheat or uh, some of the grains afterwards so that is a job that happens internally that the laborers don't do so there is i do want to maintain at least one worker and of course your manager but i don't know that that is necessary in an orchard so let me know what you think about that we're still in july august september october november so she was still plenty of time to get these guys in and that one in and maybe some deliveries this year we'll see money wise we're at 700 so yeah it's time to start uh, start selling i'd love to maintain a thousand in the in the uh, the treasury so stocking another charcoal pile let's do that you actually need to be next and I can supply that. Where'd you go? Your oil workshop. Wait a minute. Did I not place it? I talked about it. I didn't place it. I just talked a whole bunch about it. All right. You. That's right. I was trying to decide what goes on the slope. This is a long way away from homes. This will take forever to build because of all the trees that had to come down to put another forestry inside the forest this is prime growing land hate to use it for that but that would happen the quickest I'm debating whether or not to have the fence at the bottom like that kind of like that it's the same fences over here too okay one tree to go down unless I go right in there. And that leaves some space for carting in between. Okay, you are my next number one project. They probably moved over to this house. That's the next one that doesn't have a tree in it. Although they could be delivering supplies. Okay, so you just became available. We delivering, yeah, we're delivering supplies over here too. These supplies are already here, and they didn't steal any. Good. Okay. So all of that is up and running now. We are making boats. They are being delivered. Let's pop a fisherman in. Someone jumped in there real quick. Stole it from here. Uh, okay. Ah, that's fine. You guys just fight over jobs. We'll let a little fish come into the system. Can I already say yes, selfish? Where's our firewood? Right there. Nothing yet. Though I can preemptively do this and even do this, even though they don't exist yet. As soon as they do exist, then she'll run down there and grab some. But no salted fish until the trader is in. Okay. You ran down, jumped in a boat, and you're going to fish over here. 
Now, they don't actually show them fishing. Just settling out there, pretending to fish. So I would imagine that animation will be coming later. Alright, so with that, let's think about this area. What do we want up in here? And there are certain jobs that you don't want near housing, but if we get it back in here, I'm going to say that's far enough away to not worry about it. Just like this is far enough away, I think, to not worry about it. It says that it will... Um, detrimental effect on health, so better to avoid placing around houses. But I don't know that there is anything that actually pops up that says, you know, warning, you're too close to smoke or something like that. Um, propose relocation. I thought about bringing a house out over here somewhere and calling it the mayor's house and forcing them to relocate into it. Not this episode, but that's kind of a long-term fun idea, though it seems like it should be a more significant building than just one of these. Huh. Maybe just an individual house someday. Kind of right over here and give them a little yard. And then, as soon as it builds, be there and say, don't move in. Here, I'll you know, block it from, from people moving in. And then see if I can't force someone to relocate. Where does our mayor live? Our mayor is right here. You live right there. So that's the mayor's house. Um, Smithy market stall. What? Oh. You're the mayor. Okay. And you... Town Hall. You're over here. You got the very first house that we finished. Aha, uh -huh, I see how it is. <laughs> so what did I click there then? I thought I did this... I don't know. Maybe he was visiting over here. I think, that's, I think I did that right. Okay, so yeah, maybe we can relocate that one to that family to this house someday. Um, so you are still doing your thing. Two are working over there. One over there. We have a boat that is just about finished. Let's just throw a job in there. I don't know if it will fill. And we're not going to get a lot of fish to begin with. That's kind of next year's plan. Just give them something to do. Okay, so we are into August and the harvest was missed and is done. Sunflower seeds are sitting in baskets, bushel baskets, and being hauled in one at a time to here, where they will then be hauled by laborers over to there. Yeah. So that is working great. And you are... Oh. <clears throat> I think this is the sense of being threshed from the harvest to sunflowers or vice versa. Uh huh. Okay. So that's what this one worker over here is, is doing right now. Okay. Prioritize gathering. I think that determines how quickly they bring them out of the field versus just do the harvesting and leave them in the field. And then supply for oxen. Oh, so to bring in the needs, the goods for the oxen. The water and the hay. So, when we get to that, we'll do that. Alright, so... I'm having a hard time setting up that area in there because I feel like I'm missing something over here. You... They seem to be able to build a boat without two workers. I never saw a warning message. So let's turn you off. See if we can't get a second one into here. We'll find out. Forestry is completed. Ah, okay. I'm going to slow down now. Too much happening. I want two guys working in here. So in that case, I need two guys not working in here. Going to construction sites. You are just about done. Where are you? Okay, where am I? There. Taking a rest. Okay, you're out. I need somebody else. And this one as well. I will bump it up one notch. This one filled just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and... 
Say thank you, you're done. I think so. Let me know later if I have to uh, keep that employed all the time. But these, it just feels like get them planted and walk away for a couple of years. And then she can be available for other other jobs. Yeah. Anything happening in... There. Nothing yet. As far as fish coming down. Do you guys bring any fish in yet? Have we... Fish is on its way. So I, I take it awaiting 17. So 17 have been caught so far and they just haven't been delivered yet. Okay, so as soon as this guy hires on, then one did. And this exclamation point is what I was wondering about here. I'm not getting that here. So one guy apparently is enough to build a boat. And they will construct the boat right in here. Kind of fun to watch, just that I'm going to be up over there. So you guys just have to buy the game if you want to see all these little details. Okay. Let that build. I want to lay this out before this episode's done. So we've got the oil workshop over here. We're going to have a pathway like so. And a pathway like so. And from here... I would have clipped that off completely, except, you know, that's too annoying for these guys you know, to, to be able to uh, get home. Hmm. So road this way, going to come in here. We're going to make a loop with a road around like so, with different buildings entering from these locations. And I'm going to need some storage out here. So I left this little cutout. I thought a warehouse would work really well in that spot. So let's do something like that. Uh, let's line it to the side fence. Right there. Okay. And I've got plantings in there. What was that? Orchard is done. I need to go take care of that. So plantings in there. So I don't know how big that bush is going to get eventually. I'm thinking next year these bushes are going to be bigger. So I don't know in game time how quickly things get to their full maturity. So you would sit back into this area. I think that's probably realistic. You're right there. So all of these are going to sit at the very back end. Um, let's run over there to this one. Put in apples. Hire you. So hopefully that same lady is just going to be cycling back and forth through all of this. You're next, but there's still four trees to take down. And I need somebody working here. You... Apply to all, so only women in there, and laborers are fine. You're building the last boat, and I need that boat built before we freeze over. So maybe realistically returning that off. Now, there should be at least one guy, but he could be jumping into any laborer job. That's just that's why I did. I decided not to increase the wages on the charcoal uh, laborers because they would be doing this instead of going out to some of the further away jobs that I would want them to be at instead. Who has the ability to hire laborers that may have stolen my labor? Now, so where's a dude? <laughs> I'm looking at benches. Um, there are no laborers in here at the moment. So who is not hired job-wise? You are a forester. You are this forester, right? There we go. Just a matter of waiting for a while. Once these guys both get here, though, unfortunately, he's... We'll see. He may take a break before he gets here. Hopefully they do at least one tree. This would be, this far away, it'd be good to have four guys working here so that the odds are increased that you're going to have two guys arriving at the same time and, and be able to do the job. But I need these trees taken out before winter hits. And... Hmm. Let's move that. Take one tree out here so that the constructors can be working on this while these trees are being taken down. OK. 
Okay. Otherwise, they should have gone to the next job, which is right there. But I'm not seeing any materials. So that hasn't happened. So where did they go instead? No, nope, no materials there. They're probably just laying out the materials over here. They probably spent their, their time carting back and forth. That might be it. Let's watch this guy happen. Did you... Still waiting for partner, and partner's arriving. Good. So, are you two going to head over and do this one? They took out a tree right behind. Dudes! We got trees in construction sites. <laughs> that was the whole purpose for your existence. Sawing, taking a rest. <laughs> Okay, don't put too much stock in the ability of your long-distance loggers. They've got a whole different work ethic going on. Okay, so you are there, you are there. Back in this area, I want to... I had thought about Brickworks, but I think Brickworks is going to work better over in here. I think I'm going to give them this whole corner. So they can have this area. They're going to need charcoal. They're going to need sand. And there is a little bit of sand in this area. So that would work there. And they're going to need clay, which is already over here. And or we take that out, move clay and sand back over here, hide it a little bit behind the brickworks, and find something that looks better for right there along our main entrance into town. So, I can see this guy moving. I hope he does move. It seems like at the very beginning, Alpha 1, this was where you laid it down. You were stuck with it because it, it wouldn't fill back in. But I'm pretty sure that's movable now. So, the brickworks is not going to be in here. Instead, I decided to put the slaughterhouse in. Now, I'm told that's probably something you don't want next to housing, but I think it'll be fine further in, like so. And I think it'd be cool to see wherever the cows end up. The cows being led through the town back to that, you know, the slaughterhouse back in here. Just the, the look of someone leading a cow through just feels right for this era. We're in 1723, little town, little uh, village. That, that seems right, and that would kind of promote that appearance. So that's going to go back in here somewhere. Um, which means the tannery probably would be back in here too. So those two, I think, would need to be as far away as possible. So right up in this area. So if those two are in there, we'll have leather in here then. So we would put the cobbler in here. We would put the saddlery in here. So tailor weaver, that should be in this area also. The saddlery, the shoemaker and the slaughterhouse and tannery i think that's what i want to do so that's six buildings to get in so let's start with do we have hemp yet hemp or flax is that in here not there not there we have it, we just made our first round and it's sitting there. Okay, hemp can be turned into fabric. So let's go that route back over here. So you are there, and that is the weaver's workshop, which produces textile from hemp or flax. So you're back in this area and trying to promote a pathway that goes around this guy. So that's kind of the, the, oh, the, final look that I want here so you are something like that and if I can avoid taking a tree out in this area that probably would be best though I could kick that a lot further back give us more of a, of a road in there okay now how do we deal with being at the entrance of somebody's house I guess trees and benches and decorations and little pieces of fencing can kind of manipulate things later okay so we'll drop you in there and so that was textile 
Let's go for Taylor next door. And more storage, or do we make everything store out of this? It really isn't that far of a walk. So everything can store out of this. Um, these have eight choices or six? Five. Flax, hemp, cloth, clothes. We're going to need more than one warehouse back here. Okay. So maybe the warehouse is first. Okay. Let's do that. You, warehouse is there. Okay. So you go away then. Warehouse... Right in there. Place is occupied. Okay, we're, I'm touching the red line. And do I angle that to start the idea of a curve? Yep. Actually, I accidentally clicked, but yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the weaver shop. How do you align with that diagonal? Um... Right there. Actually, you work out pretty good. Yeah. So that gets our curve going. we got a bit of a porch out the front of this one, though. So that would work right there. Yeah. Okay. You're going there. And then the tailor comes in at a bit of an angle. So opposite angle. How do you determine that? I guess it's right there. That straight to that angle. What's the opposite of that? That's pretty close. Okay. So that would give us the most natural look. We have no need to get behind. But a little space does look good. Rather than having buildings touch. You're right there. Okay. So that takes care of clothing and some storage. Now, beyond that, we're going into... Oh, that's saddlery and shoes. Okay, so do we stick another warehouse in that corner? We have to employ all of these, though. Okay. I'll leave a gap for a third warehouse, should that be necessary later, but let's not set it yet. Um... Those are all on the other page, right? Shoemaker and saddlery. You front door from that porch right there, and you're just a tiny little thing. A tiny little thing might work well in a corner and might even sit back a little bit. What's that look like? So, like this, back in there? That's kind of different. So, in that case, let's go for the other one first. Um, saddlery. So your front door's there. Rotate you. I think at this point you are fully on, you know, square on with this guy. And so something right there. You're like this. With the other guy back in that corner. Although that makes it gives us a lot of room in here for a road. Though we may even put something on the back side of this. Hmm. I want to be from there to there. Yeah. I think I am right here. I think I am. Alright, so you and we need to think of a well in this area too. Let's rotate you back just a touch. So I can put both of those little buildings in there. So you're on this side then, because we're pushed over too far this way. So let's put the bigger building over here. And footprint-wise, yeah. Wells over here to kind of kick our, our island that direction a bit. So what did we miss? The shoemaker. You can go in that little space there. And distance-wise, we can see the roof, but it's that yellow square underneath, distance-wise. So you... Probably closer to this side. 
start our, our curve in here. So for that matter then, the other building gets moved a little further away. Are running? Yeah. Um, the salary. Let's take you out over here a bit. I think that looks better. Then we can well into that space. Okay. No, we gotta go the other way, huh? Well, we should go the other way. So, you back. We'll just make you parallel. And aligned how. That probably looks pretty good road-wise. Okay, you're in there. Then we want to... Boy, this is this is going to get a little, uh, little hard to see, I know. But I want to lay this area out. Anything else I'm missing out here? Got two more buildings, and they may take a while to really think about things. So, you got three boats going. You can go away. They're restocking to bring in the rest of the... 2,500 wood. Okay. Let's make you just 2,000. I didn't see how much it took to make a single boat, but... Yeah, let's... We don't need to have that much going on. We're starting to build the trader. And... We did get you employed. Let's see if there is another guy looking for work. There should be. We fired a few to make this happen, so we'll put you in there too. And we may get a little bit of fish out of this. No fish down here, so they've already hauled it. So we got fish sitting in there, 32. And they're already being bought. So the homes have had no fish, so each home is going to want to go and pick up some fish here real soon, right? If I click this, it doesn't tell me who's on their way to go pick that up. There's some fish in that home there. So they'll all start stocking up so they can get a little bit of everything. So the first round of fish isn't going to last. And you can determine when you want to start drying fish. Where is that? Resources? How much salt do you want to keep in? We'll go ahead and at least do those two. Um, so I guess we have to wait for the salt to show up. Then I think there's another bit of uh, uh, information that shows up there and lets you choose how much fish you want to salt at a time kind of a thing. All right, so um, Orchard, everything's happy here. You are no longer needed. And we're working on this. We have three trees left. What are you guys doing? You're all taking a rest. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You are also taking a rest. Okay. Well, there's lots of choices. We've got this one cleared, which was important. So our, our builders have got something to do. All right. Let's lay these last two buildings out. So I want the cattle to, one by one, be brought up through and through into here so we need to fence around this and kind of seal this off so we get foot traffic going where we want it to be of course there's another row of houses that will kind of show up back behind all of this too that's probably the path they're going to take because i'll probably want to put another arch over here hmm yeah we'll figure that out later but we are built to where let's see i'm going to go back the slaughter is the Big one to figure out. The slaughter and the tannery. Where do we want them to go? So you guys are going to be kind of up in here. And they're not as big as I thought they'd be. Okay. But as far as being as far, as far away from houses as I can, that's pretty much it. So another warehouse there if it's needed. And distance-wise... They bring him in that door right there. Let's put Slaughter on this side. So while I'm aligned properly, let's work on Tannery. So Tannery is there, and you come off of that end. Oh. So you come off of there, so it would make sense that you aim that way. Right? 
Or do I want to aim toward a warehouse? Or do we just put a warehouse over here? Don't know. Too many questions, too few answers. Let's drop you in like so. Let's drop you in. Like that. Now, what I haven't done is looked at the buildings to see what they need. Right there. Housing is going to be over here. And then maybe working sideways. Maybe we'll start the lanes going this direction if we do more housing in here. So, what is my population now? I've not even noticed. We're at 45. So, we got a long way to go. Okay. So, you are in there. Now, what I wanted to do was see if there's anything I have missed. So, tannery uh, requires bark, lime. Tannery requires lime. Okay, and salt. So tannery is not going to happen for a while. Slaughterhouse requires animals and produces meat. Okay. Gives us the hides that we need for the tannery. And so bark, lime, salt. So we would want to store bark up in this area. All right. What else is over here? Um, Taylor. Ah, uh, okay, so textile broadcloth and sheepskin. So our sheep industry is going to work with this building as well. Weaver, hemp and flax. And what else did we get into? Shoemaker is leather, which comes out of the tannery. And saddlery is leather and metal parts. Ah, that's where the more metal parts will go. Okay, fulling mill will make the broadcloth from wool from our sheep farm and I'm guessing the slaughterhouse will also make mutton from the sheep that seems reasonable all right so all of that is laid out what a mess we're working on this guy let's speed it up a little bit and show work rest selling the garden produce see they do do things other than work so he's off doing things for his home at the moment and a lot of the ladies are probably also working in here so these guys are starting to fill up again anything new nothing new everything is set to buy yes and we're starting to get more of a variety built up into here which means that i can now add horseradish to this market so you you're employed, you're employed, you're employed. So these two will be next. And, oh, we got one in there. I jumped the gun. No, nope, we have everybody in there already. I mean, all four spaces are filled. All right, so hire another worker for there. Okay, we're at 600 and some. And slow back down. Now it's probably time to think about adding charcoal, adding one more charcoal with the idea that it's going to be used to trade with. I like the idea of having a charcoal near the forestry. How quickly will you guys... You're there, okay. You're there, you're there. Let's put another charcoal in this area here, supplied by the firewood from this particular forestry. I think that works. That'll give us our third one, and it's not too far away from being delivered to here. Probably about the same distance. Charcoal to here, charcoal to here. Okay. And rotate you around. Where exactly to place you? Will I come off and do another orchard in here or not? Kick this one in some more. I don't know. If charcoal went in this area, further up, does salt use charcoal for any reason? Kind of want the charcoal where it's going to make industry work better. Salt produces salt from underground brine deposits. 
what I'm asking, why I'm asking is it's got this huge uh, chimney there, so they're going to be burning something. So do they take in charcoal? Doesn't indicate it, whereas the brickworks does. Uh, produces bricks from clay, sand, water, and charcoal. Hmm. So is there any advantage to having the charcoal closer to that one? That's something I'm thinking about. And while we're running slow, it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and get... Yeah, it's already too late, isn't it? Harvest time, I think, is over. Uh, some hay dryers into here and get some of this. There we go. Hay dryers in this area. Um, shadows are over there. Rotate you around. Even before we get the cows coming in, it might be nice to go ahead and have some hay stocked up. So we're not waiting a whole season for that to happen once we get the, the cattle going. I want shift. Let's drop you into... The road goes up like that. So... There... I can't overlap, unfortunately. So you're going to be there. And we'll do a third one. We may take one of these out. They do produce these pretty fast. These will be... Yeah, not, not mowing season, so it's next year this is going to happen. This is like the orchards. It's something I wish that I had in place early enough that they could have been loading these up. And we need to store them somewhere in our hay dryer. We've got a couple of different sizes of hay dryers. This guy and the big one. May as well go straight to the big one. But I don't know where the cows are going to go. Yeah. Let's put a little one in. And where'd that go? Right there. We'll put a little one in like that. And fill that one up. We can empty that one into the big one. Wherever it turns out it's going to land later. And then delete this guy. So you can be there. And you can be sometime during the winter. Yeah, but not too critical. Critical is right here. All right, so with that going, charcoal. Did I do it? I thought long and hard about it. <laughs> I think I better shut this episode down, too. So charcoal. Yeah, I don't see any more orchards going in. I really don't. And the closer I get the charcoal up to the town, I think the more likely it's actually going to be done. So where do we have a space here? We're going to be walking down. We've got kind of a pathway probably down like so. So coming off of this area here is probably where I want the charcoal. Like that. Now it's just a matter of finding a spot that will accept it. And... Rotating won't help in this case, right? Yeah, it won't. So this is just not available. Okay. Uneven terrain. It really isn't. Wow, it's just it's just angry. Ah, we had a spot. Alright, so from there. Further away than I wanted to. Interesting. So you do have a direction. Okay, so there are a few little spots here and there. If you aim in that direction. Can I get off of this? I can. I saw you. Right there. Right there. Alright, so you just need trees done. Let's put you up to the beginning. And yeah, we'll put you right there. Yeah, boy, those are tiny. Okay, so we're up and running, and I think I had better shut this episode down. I have a feeling I'm well over an hour. Yeah. Under an hour episodes, probably not going to happen with this series. Because I'm I'm just now feeling like I'm, I'm finally starting to get into this episode. <laughs> How did we fill out in here? Trees are starting to grow, and they're starting to get their fall colors. These trees should all be a lot bigger by the end of next episode. So yeah, I wanted to see more of this grow up before I started placing anything else. Just to make sure I didn't make any big mistakes and have to tear it all out. Alright, so with that, I think we're going to call this one done. Catch you next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.